everyone. Um, Ant Ravenwood back, and uh, as you can see, I am wearing I am wearing my storytelling attire. Um, I I managed to write myself a um, a fantasy story for children uh, called the Breathing Wheel, and um, it was quite a fascinating little exploration, a little journey. I took it around to schools and libraries, um, had it self-published as well, and when I was out um, meeting and greeting the people, I had the garb on because it put me in storytelling mode. It was like putting a, you know, putting a, putting a mask on and becoming somebody different. Um, I've always had a love for theatre, acting, that kind of thing. Um, so I thought, why not, let's just do something with that and um, take it out to the people. And for a year or two, it was really good fun. Um, the book's been out a while now. If you really need to know about it, ask me another time. Um, and I also, with my friend Andy, uh, wrote um, a concept album to go with the story as well. So we've got the whole thing in music, um, inspired by the early prog rock people like Genesis and, uh, you know, um, Pink Floyd and that kind of thing. So um, that was quite a journey in itself as well. Right, now then, today. Um, first of all, thank you guys for beginning to subscribe to me. Really happy about that. Um, this is a new venture for me, the, the whole talking on YouTube thing. It's, it's different. Um, I'm used to talking to people and I guess in a way I kind of am, but I just feel like I'm talking to a little black thing that's staring at me up on the top of a tripod. Anyway, <clears throat> without any further ado, what I'm going to say today um, is I touched in my first video, I touched uh, on when I go to my forest. Uh, there's a space in the forest that I go to that I've been going for over 10 years. Um, beautiful, beautiful little spot right on the edge of the forest. And um, I sit with an oak tree. Um, it's not particularly old for an oak tree, probably about 70 or 80 years old, something like that. And um, either side of him, I did the oak, as I sit there, the oak is in the north and east and west to the oak, there is hawthorn and ash. And it's kind of like a, a triad, if you like, and they, and they sit in a little semicircle. Um, and when I'm sitting in the oak, I can just look at the ash and I look at the hawthorn and it's just like, ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful magic energy in the grove. Um, so I just thought I'd say a little bit about how, what I normally do when I'm there. I mean, every time I go, and I've been going for over 10 years, as I say, every time I go, it's different. Every time I go, my mood is is generally different. Sometimes I go and I'm really stressed or I'm really wound up. Uh, other times I go and I'm absolutely blissed and really chilled out. Um, so it's, you never know what's going to happen when you get there. You know that you're going to be healed or that the energies are going to be working with you, but you're never quite sure how you're going to feel. Um, so I always take a little well, they call it a crane bag, don't they, in the Druid tradition. But I always take a little little gathering of things with me. Um, and there are always certain things that I do, depending on what's going through my head at the time and how everything feels on the day. Um, so it does change quite a lot. I like to be organic in that respect. I like, I like it to flow naturally. I don't like to go, right, I'm here, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. You know, that isn't me, I don't do that. Um, so, I've brought a few things down here. Um, first and foremost is my beautiful, beautiful Indian rug, my throw. So if it's a chilly day or whatever, or I'm barefoot and I just need to sit down for a bit, it's lovely to have this over your feet just to keep the mozzies off apart from anything else. And, um, you know, obviously you can sit there for a bit longer. If the wind is a bit of a chill, you can put it round you and it... It's just really snuggly, so I always take my fleecy blanket with me. That's the first thing. Sometimes when I'm there I like to write. 
um, and my beautiful, beautiful wife, Peace, um, bought me this um, some years ago now. I think she got it from Glastonbury, and um, it's like a little leather-bound journal with um, some lovely organic paper in there. Um, and I've been kind of scribbling in it on and off. I've got things that I've experienced in the forest in there. I've got um, information on the elements. I've got crystals. I've got trees. I've got you know, anything and everything that comes to me. I tend to stick it in here. So it's filling up quite nicely. So that's another thing I take with me. One of my favourite uh, tarot decks. Um, you, you probably know about it. The Wildwood Tarot. Yeah. Uh, is that upside down? No, it's not. It's fine. Uh, Mark, Ryan, John Matthews. The Wildwood Tarot. And the illustrations. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations by Will Worthington, who's renowned illustrator for tarot and uh, oracle decks. Um, I get on with this set really well. There's a lot of cards in there that resonate with me. And they seem to you know, work. Um, some decks seem to relate to you a lot easier than others, you probably know. And uh, this, this one nearly always really happens for me. So I, I don't take the box when I go to the forest. Um, I've got the cards in a little organic cotton bag. And I just pop them in my pocket and take the cards with me. Um, if I feel like doing a reading. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So apart from that as well, I always take some incense. Um, depending on, again, depending on the mood, I take two or three different ones. I've got um, a, one called Spirit something, that's really nice. One called The Goddess and the Green Man, um, which is a nice yin yang balance. Um, there's all sorts of different ones that I take. One of my favourites is uh, from Star Child Incenses in Glastonbury, um, and this particular one is called Shaman or Shaman, um, and that's a lovely blend. It's a, a, a beautiful natural blend um, incense. So if it's a nice day, if it's not windy, pop the old charcoal block on and get that smoke in. It's fantastic. Now then, in here, this is my little box of treasures that I always take with me. Little charity box find, uh, charity shop find, little box. Um, and I found this on the internet, which is rather sweet. It's called the Druid's Prayer. Deep within the center of our being, may we find peace. Silently within the quiet of this grove, may we share peace. Gently within the greater circle of humankind, may we radiate peace. And I just think that's so lovely. It's short, simple, and just fantastic. Yeah. Um, first thing on the top, if I fancy burning any sage, got a little bag of sage there. Um, if I fancy something a little bit more um, deep, for want of a better explanation, mugwort, which I love. Great for journeying. Um, got a little bit of ribbon in there in case I want to tie a clue to one of the trees if I'm particularly drawn to do so. Um, various natural repellents if I've got a bit of a headache or whatever. Peppermint oil is a good one. Um, and the other one for this time of the year in the summer over here in the UK, lavender. Get those little mozzie bites. It's good for that. Okay. And a, a beautiful blend that a friend of mine um, who works in one of the shops in Glastonbury um, did for me um, a year or so ago. And it's, um, it's got my favourite tree, as I said in my last video, is hawthorn. And we've got hawthorn berries and twigs in there with some essential oils. And I kind of use that as like a little anointing oil. Um, so if I'm doing a working or I'm doing anything specific in the, in the grove that day, it's just like a little... And it nearly always goes on my third eye. Um, so it's just a little anointing thing that I do um, if I'm doing anything specific. Now then, bag of tumble stones. I've got various bits and pieces in there, little bag of stones. Um, and sometimes 
I mean, you know, tumble stones, crystals, whatever, they've all got their own energies and sometimes um, I douse um, the stones and ask it whether, you know, I need a particular stone for a particular part of my journey or whether I need it for this particular week or day or whatever. And um, my beautiful, beautiful pendulum here, which again I got from the same friend of ours in Glastonbury um, some years ago now, but this guy never fails. This guy never, never fails. Um, and sometimes I use it to douse my tarot cards. Sometimes I use it to douse my stones. Sometimes I use it for just simple yes or no questions. Um, but always questions about myself, my being, my health, um, my journey, whether I'm going in the right direction, whether I should be doing this, da 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 da, whatever. But th this guy here, one of the best examples was I went to uh, Wales in 2011 and um, I went to North Wales and up to um, Pen, 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 something or other, <laughs> sorry, um, out near the coast, uh, near Conway, and up in the hills there is the Druid Circle, um, Circle of Stones. In fact, there's two circles up there, which is rather interesting. And I got halfway up the hill, it's quite a climb, and the, the signs, the footpath signs, just kind of like disappeared. Um, and I thought, well, I could take a left here and go over the hills, or I could take a right and go down towards the town. And I thought, well, the right doesn't feel right, so I was going left. And I went on and I went on across a couple of fields, and I thought, I really don't know about this. And fortunately, I had my friend with me. And I picked it up, and I did a little question to it, and I said, should I go left or should I go right? Uh, you know, one, one, one direction for yes, one direction for right. And it said, you need to go back, you need to go right. And I thought, well, I don't know where I am. I've only got this guy to trust. So I took its advice and it took me straight to the circle. Um, it's not the first time that that's helped me. Um, so I love, I love my t pendulum work. It's, um, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, I think that's about it for today. I probably waffled a bit, um, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about my, my stuff that I take when I go to the Grove. As I say, no, no visit is the same. Some days I just sit there. Some days I just absorb the energies. Um, some days I'm silent. Some days I'm really chatty. Some days I love to really rest against the trees or my oak in particular. And other days I just sit on the ground, stand about, I don't know. It just depends. Um, but I really love to kind of like take that time to really understand what's going on in the forest. Really close your eyes and just listen and feel what's happening there. Um, and it really, really grounds you. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I'm sure many of you know um, about the beauty and the wonder of being amongst the trees. Um, that's predominantly where I'm coming from with my work. Um, but I love it. So if anybody's got any questions, if anybody says, well, why do you do this? Or, you know, oh, fab, how do you do that? Whatever. Drop me a line, drop a comment below and, um, you know, let's get chatting about it because when you're a solitary, it's a little bit weird because you don't know whether you're doing stuff normally or whether you, whether some people think you're crackers. I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those things. Um, but I know that this is going out to like-minded people um, and I love you guys that are coming on board and saying hi um, and supporting me and I think it's just wonderful. So let's, let's do some sharing, let's do s asking questions and um, you know messing about with, with why do you do this and how do you do that, that'd be great. Um, www.hawthorngrove.moonfruit.com is my little website if you want to pop on there sign the guest book say hello there is a forum on there and it hasn't been used for a while so if anyone else has got any questions and they don't want to do it here you know pop over to the uh, website and pop a question on the forum and uh, let's bring that back to life it'd be really cool all right love you guys um many blessings happy journeying and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye for now